Oh my god. You're using crystals in your candle? They're so beautiful, but can't those things burn? How are you even gonna get covered in terms of like insurance? Hello everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earthglow and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. Now on this channel, we cover all sorts of topics stemming from the behind the scenes of my own small business, as well as lots of sciencey topics. And I share tips and tricks with you about how to make quality candles coming from someone with a background in chemistry. So if you're new, subscribe. It is absolutely free and tap the notification bell, that little bell in the corner, and I will notify you each time I post a new video so that you don't miss out. Now, I also have a little bit of extra knowledge on this one too because I used to sell crystals and minerals uh, for like the last five six years I'm kind of getting away from it but I've been someone who's had an interest in geology my whole life and I've studied a massive amount not only about chemistry but also about geology and about what these different minerals can withstand now I'm going to also say that all of these claims and rumors that you've seen online about people saying that crystal candles are dangerous they're not entirely made up and stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm going to reveal to you why that is and why it's really important if you're a store purchasing candles to purchase them from a reputable candle maker, particularly if you're buying crystal candles. So first of all, if you're looking for a quick answer to this question, most crystals can withstand the heat of a melt pool in a candle most crystals are able to. So when I am choosing crystals to put into candles, I'm looking for crystals that are able to withstand um, more heat than most, and also crystals that will not release anything toxic when they are exposed to heat. And there are a number of crystals that will. So you definitely want to avoid a number of different ones. And I'll be sharing specifically a list of which ones to avoid in my Patreon. So if you're curious, the link to join that is down below. But I'm gonna go over which ones are definitely safe for you guys. And that would be silicates. And by silicates, I mean things that are quartz-based. So your agates, your amethyst, your citrine, your quartz, uh, your rose quartz, all of those types of minerals are very commonly found in crystal candles because they are able to withstand the heat of a candle and they are not going to release anything toxic when that candle is burning. The placement of the crystal is also very important. In general, crystals should be placed around the edges of the candle so that when that candle is initially burning, they kind of fall to the bottom because they're heavier than the melted wax and they won't get in the path of that flame because during the first few burns, what they'll essentially do is kind of migrate toward the center because the candle's gonna burn from the center towards the outside. And so they'll kind of fall inward to the center, but rather than falling directly into the path of that hot flame, they will sort of fall underneath the wax and they won't come in contact with it. But if you were to place the candles right under the wick, Initially, what could happen is the very high heat of the flame of that candle could directly come in contact with the crystals and cause them to pop, particularly if they have cracks within them like a lot of minerals do. Now, I have not seen a whole lot of this in my candle making, but personally, I will say it is a good practice to put your crystals more around the edges as much as possible in your candle. Now, as always, you need to keep a close eye on your candle when it is burning. I would say a little bit more so when you have crystals in your candle or when you have herbs in your candle. Now, where some of these rumors come from is folks who are sourcing crystals from not reputable suppliers. So what can happen is there's a number of these in the marketplace. And as someone who has sold, who has purchased and sold crystals over the last five and a half, six years, that's how my business started actually, for those of you who are brand new. I didn't start making candles. I started selling, buying and selling crystals. Um, and it turned into candles, but I started with crystals. Um, and I can tell you, I purchased from hundreds of different people. I've seen, I've been to the Tucson and the Denver Gem shows, and it's really, really, really important to be sourcing your minerals from reputable suppliers because there's so many fakes on the marketplace. And what can happen is if you do run into some fake crystals, you may not be able to know that at first, but what can happen is they're often made out of plastics and resins and different types of things that absolutely can burn and can pose a fire hazard. So that is where I believe a number of the different rumors and uh, kind of comments and some of these blogs um, do have some truth. But 
they're not made from real crystals in the first place. Now, over on my Patreon, I'll be sharing a short list of reputable suppliers where you can purchase crystals. And as long as you are using silicates, again, the ones that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, they're going to be safe on your candle. Now, in terms of the insurance aspect, yes, I do have business insurance and yes, my insurance does cover crystals on my candles. Now, if you're interested in a video on talking about business insurance, I will have that one linked down below for you guys. And if you're interested specifically in what business insurance I use, um, I do have that available in my Patreon as well as why I chose the specific insurance provider that I did. So basically, as long as you are placing your crystals correctly, you have a properly made candle in the first place and you're placing your crystals co correctly, and you are buying from reputable suppliers and using crystals that are safe to withstand the heat of candles, then you will not have issues with crystals um, in your burning candles. Um, by and large. I've sold thousands of crystal candles and have not had one complaint of someone having an issue. So I hope that if you're new to this topic that this video brings you some peace of mind. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. I'm sending all of you peace, love, and light, and I'm wishing all of you happy candle making.